Justin. Welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, ladies. I am so blessed. Things are going tremendously well. But then, I mean, because I invest in real estate, I have so much extra time because I don't work for somebody else. I get to come on podcasts and hang out and talk to great people like you. So it's just a blessing to be <laughs> to invest in real estate, but then also to hang out with you guys. Yeah, Thanks. fantastic. Well, Dustin, you and I met, gosh, years ago, I think five or six years ago now. And what struck me from the very first moment that we met was not that you were this big, successful real estate investor, which you are, but your warmth and your energy and every room that you walk into, you can sense it right off the bat that you're not just you're not just putting on a front, but you genuinely care about people. And I've loved watching you over the years turn your real estate success, not in, only into yours and, and uh, providing for your family, but also paying it forward and helping to establish this community through RubeCon, the Real Estate Wealth Builders Conference, which you created, I think, three or four years ago now. And so I know there's a lot that goes into event planning. Oh my gosh, so much. And you're taking on so much risk by putting on a new event out there. So you mentioned, you mentioned that you feel blessed because you've got, you don't have to spend a lot of time and you're, you're pretty successful with your real estate portfolio, but with events, I know there's times when you have to put in a lot of time, a lot of sweat equity. So take us to a moment when maybe the event, the putting the event together, maybe wasn't exactly what you intended or it stressed you out or it turned into something that wasn't quite what you expected. Yeah. So I, I could go with the very first time we put on the event, not knowing, like literally signing with the hotel for $150,000 guaranteeing that I will pay them cool. if everything goes wrong. I could talk about that because um, I hadn't sold any tickets, didn't even do that. This was brand new, but I won't. This I'll tell you the one time that I was put behind the A-ball and it was uh, very, very hard on more of my wife. I could work literally all day, every day. That's just how I'm wired. But my wife doesn't really like it when I do that. And my family too. So it was in 2023. So we started in 2022. So I had our first event in 20, uh, 2022 in Phoenix and it went well. A lot of struggles, a lot of growing and learning, not growing, but like learning pains, how to, how to do it. But then the second year I was, I'm going to blame myself, but I had an employee who I said, I need you to reach out to sponsors. Now, sponsors, you don't make your money from ticket sales. In fact, you lose money from ticket sales because hotels are very, very expensive. I spent $17,000 on coffee for one year. It just, that's like liquid gold. It's absolutely crazy. But I, I Such told my- Such essential gold though. Such essential <laughs> gold for those <laughs> it events. <sure> is. <laughs> uh, so I told my- um, uh, one of my employees, I said, I want you to reach out to sponsors because we got to start selling. And this was like July of 2022 for 2023. And she contacted maybe two or three and said, a couple of them were saying that they, you know, we need to reach out in like beginning of the year. I'm like, okay, I'm trusting her. Fast forward, they've already got their budget, their plan. They've already mapped out all the events by January. So I'm starting to call up sponsors thinking, okay, this is a great time to start calling sponsors because if I don't get sponsors, I'm going to lose my shirt. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. So in January, I start calling them. And then quickly, after like two or three calls, I realize, uh oh, I am not going to get any sponsors. They don't have oh. any money. So I worked my tail off on top of putting on the event, trying to, you know, get from signage to we print up books that people use like as workbooks and all these other things that we got to do and 50 sponsor or speakers. I literally got, I want to say 25 to 28 sponsors worked mm -hmm. so hard. I'm not, I'm decent at sales, but that many, that fast, it, it put me so far behind the eight ball that by the time RubeCon was done in March, I literally, the entire next month, I said, I'm done. I don't want to do anything, not just sales, but like <laughs> everything. I'm, <laughs> I need to just veg for the entire time because I would wake up and only think about sponsors. I would go to bed thinking about sponsors. I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about sponsors, all day thinking about sponsors. Fast forward, 
I've learned my lesson. And here's a great thing, the big lesson that I learned. And Annie, I know like I'm looking at you, everything that you have done and built at your company. It's like all the people that you bring in that help you in your business. Same thing with real estate investing. The more people that you get around you, that's why I love creating communities, building RubeCon and, and having all these people connect. The more people that are around you that can help lift the load, it makes everything so much easier. And fast forward now, at Master Passive Income, the, the coaching arm of, of what we do, and the Real Estate Wealth Builders Conference, my goal for 2024 was to hire or find people that I can replace myself in all these aspects of the business. I found a marketing guy who's doing an amazing job, just got a sales lady that's going to be doing sales for all the sponsorships. And She's a realtor. She, which a realtor, you know, they're pretty good at sales and she already has lots of connections. All that to say, getting around the right people. That's why I built RubeCon was because I saw my students needing more people to be around, more um, expert investors like you, Annie. I mean, you come, in, come and speak and rock the house every single year. And so I found the problem is trying to do it myself. Then finding the wrong people not having the wrong people. You want to have the right people in place. So all that to say, getting back to the problem was I got put beyond the A ball because I wasn't doing things right, but now getting the right people in place, which now lifts the load for everybody. And one quick last thing is I've also realized every single relationship that I ever come in contact with, I look at it as a long game. Meaning if you meet somebody, this is for everybody listening, if you meet somebody right then and there and you start thinking, what can I get out of this person right here and right there, then you're going to lose. Honestly, like every single time you're going to lose. If you look at how can I benefit this person now, and then eventually something might pay off in the future. If we focus on serving first, then it's going to come pay back. And honestly, looking at everything that I have now from the two different events, the, all the coaching, we now have a, a podcast network of six different podcasts talking about real estate. Um, I, I, everything that we're doing is because I first thought, how can I serve this person that I first become in contact with? And then in, eventually they say, my goodness, Dustin, you've served me so much. I, I want, I need to do something for you. That's like, it's not that I want to, it's like, I can't not do this. What can I do to help you? And that's how I've seen from my, uh, walk of, you know, coaching and, and all that stuff is the more people that I serve the better my life gets and the better their lives get. As you were describing that, how you switched from sort of like, what can I gain to what can I provide? What can I, what value can I give? We talk about that a lot, but sometimes I think unless you've had like the, the like neural dopamine hit of how much happiness you actually get from serving, it's hard to believe in it. It's, it's hard to say like, but no, I need to serve my needs first and then I can give. But Sometimes, I mean, take, just go to one of these conferences with the main goal or do anything, go to one meeting, go to one thing with one main goal of just saying like, how can I help someone at this meeting? I mean, maybe it's just like, here's how I manage my time. I mean, everyone does something really well and those skills can transfer into real estate investing more than you probably understand. So going to one of these events and with the goal of just seeing how you can serve would be a great way to see how you can fit into these teams that put these things together, that put these big investments together. And you had a, a really good point that I didn't realize that, the, I guess the dopamine hit, like you said, like the service and how much more, like I feel, I feel like on a high when, when, when I serve people and then the after benefits of it too, is eventually it comes back to pay me 10 times over what I helped this one person to get. And so it wasn't until I started really serving people and started figuring out how can I serve people more that I found that this is literally the only way that I want to make money anymore. Like, I don't want to try to make money on any other way other than serving people. And it, I kind of equated to this. And I, this was part of my talk at RubeCon this last year was the more people that I serve, obviously, like I said earlier, the more money I make, but the more money may, they make, they get what they want. I get what I want. But when I first started thinking I need to serve people, yeah, I get it. It's kind of like if you have a sibling and your sibling starts having kids and you know, they have a, a kid and you have like, let's say a nephew and you go over there and say, oh, I love your, your, your son, just like he's mine. And like I said this to my, my brother one time, I said, oh, I love your son. I love him just like he's mine. He's like, no, you don't. Like, what do you mean? Of course I do. This is my nephew. Of course. He says, no, you don't love him like I do because you don't understand. You don't have the capacity 
to understand what it is like to love him like your own. Then when I had my first child, I was like, now I get it. Oh, exactly. Then same thing with service and helping other people and serving other people that as soon as I, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to do only this from now on. Whereas when you're trying to get to financial freedom, don't get me wrong, everybody, if you're not at financial freedom yet, it's a lot of work. You have to, it takes the longest and it's a lot of work. And you kind of get a perspective that I should be serving people. But once you get to financial freedom, then it's like, wow, the, the doors open because all of a sudden you start the capacity or the understanding of what it actually is opens up in your brain. Now, like I said, I literally only focus on serving people. And I'd be completely honest, I make so much more money when I do that. So what a beautiful thing. What a beautiful environment ecosystem that you're creating, um, not only for your family, but now this extended RubeCon family. And I hope, I really, really hope the listener, if you have not been to a RubeCon event, you must go. You must go. If there is one event, I will recommend it is RubeCon. Whether you are just starting out in real estate or you are in multifamily commercial real estate, This is one of the best events to attend, to build community, to meet other people, to make friends within this space. It's such a wonderful event. So now, Dustin, tell everybody if they are interested in coming to the RubeCon Multifamily event coming up in November, tell them the date and where they they can go to get their ticket. Yeah, absolutely. And I also want to give you guys 10% off if you use a promo code GOODEGG. Just use that promo code. Very, very simple. Good egg. I'll give you 10% off. But if you go to rubcon.com, R-E-W-B-C-O-N.com, just abbreviated, Real Estate Wealth Builders Conference, all abbreviated. I know the link will be in the description, but use that promo code, good egg. And honestly, like Annie is a really good friend of mine. So I'm always going to have that promotion code for every single event, at least our best I can. Every event, if it's uh, RubeCon or RubeCon Multifamily, we're even going to be putting on new events in the future. At least that's the roadmap is going to do. We'll have good egg because Annie's a good friend of mine. I want to promote everything that Annie does and everything that she, I mean, she's just terrific. So anyways, I love that everybody is in here that's wanting to have a better life. Um, They want to grow. They want to um, basically get out of the rat race. And that's what we do. So go to rubcon.com. You'll have the best time. And one quick thing, I didn't share this, but a lot of real estate investor events they are hype and sales pitch from the main stage. And they say, run to the back and go give us lots of money. It's normally a million dollars, but it's $50,000 a day. I didn't, I, I can't stand those personally. So I said, I want to create an event that is the opposite or one that I would want to go to. It's just community. It's just experts helping and just everybody wanting to be together and commit, create a community. And that's where I created. So, but yeah, you can go there. Plus also, if you want to listen to me, I have my own podcast, Master Passive Income, where I just, I've been doing that since 2015, I think. And it's so much fun podcasting. I mean, it's, it's just, it's terrific because you see people's lives change, but yeah, you can find me on there. Plus, oh, one last thing. You can even find me on Instagram. I've been trying to put a little effort into Instagram. So the Dustin Heiner, T-H-E, Dustin Heiner. And I'm not that arrogant to be the Dustin Heiner. It's the only handle I can come up with, but uh, you can reach out to me. On, I love getting DMs on there. So you can reach out to me on there too. Amazing. Dustin Heiner, successful real estate investor, coach, mentor, creator of Master Passive Income and creator of RubeCon and all of the RubeCon variations that are going to be coming up in the future. Dustin, thank you as always for being here with us and our listener audience and sharing your infinite wisdom and your your energy with us. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.